What is good, everybody? My name is Modi, this is Modi Makes, and today I'm coming at you with another art challenge. I've been really enjoying doing these art challenges recently because it just kind of gets you out of your comfort zone, it makes you think about your pieces differently, and like setting up these parameters for your pieces really gets some, you know, either pretty funny or really impressive results, and I'm down with either of those. That works really well for me and my style and the kind of content that I'm trying to make here. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing the Sharpie only challenge. So, you know, obviously that just means I can only use Sharpies, but what that really means is I can't do any construction lines, no pencils, no sketches of any kind. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me. It's been a long time since I've done things without, you know, putting construction lines down. I used to do it a lot when I was younger but I just realized that the quality of work you can make when you're willing to put in the time to ideate and put down construction lines is a lot higher. So I haven't been doing it recently, but I think it's gonna be a ton of fun and I'm excited to try it out and get back into doing some more stuff like that. So I have a ton of Sharpies. If I can grab them all. It gives me a ton of range of stuff to do. I've got, you know, pretty much most of the generic colors and then I have some of these metallics too which I'm not sure how I'm going to use I'm really going into this with out any plan at all so I'm not really sure how I'm going to use like I got like a gold a copper and a silver here and I don't know we'll see if I can fit them in maybe I will use them maybe I won't use them we'll find out so let's see what I can pull off with these and uh, <laughs> hopefully it's good or enjoyable like I said so Let's get into it. All right, so I'm switching over to my illustration table here because obviously this is an illustration project. So, and if you buy an illustration table, you might as well use it at literally every excuse you can. Plus it's obviously way more comfortable. But first things first, I'm gonna need to have my little side sketch page here just to try out all the pens, make sure they're all working well and there's no like low ink or anything and uh, see <laughs> exactly how they play together and what I can and can't pull off with them, so. Cross, cross your fingers for me, please. So one of the things I'm noticing right away is that obviously the color changes a lot from when you first put it down to when it's completely dried because some of these colors that are different um, when they're still wet on the page <laughs> look almost identical. So that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult to try to figure out you know, the different colors and values while I'm actually doing <laughs> the drawing itself. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing I'm going to be noticing right away is there's obviously, and I fully expected this, you can't really blend Sharpies at all, so yeah, I'm not gonna, it's gonna have to be a more graphic style. Um, and I'm pretty confident that while I will be able to put darker colors over light colors, yeah, I could definitely do that. I'm not gonna be able to put a lighter color over a dark color at all, so. Highlights are gonna be kind of tricky with that. Let's see, I don't, yeah, like I don't think I'm gonna be able to put this silver. Eh, I guess kind of, but it definitely doesn't show up as bright as it does normally. But like, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to put a yellow over the top of a red at all. Right here, let me... Yeah, definitely not that. So, and I gotta be careful about picking up colors from other pens. So I'm gonna have to work light to dark, which is not undoable. It's just not, like it makes it hard to do really specular highlights. So that's definitely something I'm gonna have to consider going into this. I think I'm gonna have to play around with it for a little bit off camera and uh, just kind of figure out what I'm even gonna go for here and then we'll get into the actual piece, but I don't know how long this is gonna take, so <laughs> I don't need 
I don't necessarily need to be filming it the whole time because it's going to be real boring for you guys, I'm sure. So I'll catch you back in a second. Well, 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 here we are in the place that I pretty much live before every single piece that I create. Well, at least ones where I don't feel that I have a clear idea of how I want to go about it. Just pacing back and forth in the studio frantically, just trying to think of anything that'll work with the material that I have and this is obviously an extra hard one because I don't work with sharpies regularly to make art I don't know if many people really do work regularly with sharpies so I was just walking back and forth trying to get my head going uh, kind of freaking out about how I'm gonna pull this off and looking up tons of different reference images of different things that I thought would work with kind of the, the style the graphic style that I have to create for this piece and I kind of ended up going with a propaganda style poster inspired loosely by the original Jaws movie poster of a bunny rabbit and the bunny rabbit is loosely inspired by the Monty Python killer rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So. I just kind of went with that and saw what I could make out of it without really having any sketches in the beginning, although, you know, I did cheat just a little bit here by using the yellow to set down all of the initial lines because that way, you know, everything else will go over this lightest yellow, but <laughs> the yellow can't go over anything, so I was able to kind of stretch the rules there by just putting down the yellow first and then going over it with the rest of the pens, but don't judge me too much much for that it was within the rules of the challenge and I just outsmarted the challenge so what's you gonna do about it right off the bat there was something I was gonna have to figure out immediately and it was, that was that if there was any objects that I wanted to have highlights you know like really bright white specular highlights I was definitely gonna have to figure that out instantaneously so you'll notice that I end up doing it on the tongue and the nose and a little bit later I'll do it on the edges of the eyes but I had to plan that out immediately because obviously I had to leave that white and I couldn't just use like my silver sharpie or something because that would look weird. It wouldn't be right for the highlights. So that was just something to consider going into it immediately and I needed to plan that out. Here I was running into a problem because I wanted to fill in the whole background with the yellow because I knew I'd be able to go over the yellow with any other colors I wanted if I wanted to add anything else to the background. But my yellow pen was either running out of ink or had a really dry nib. So it's pretty streaky and I couldn't get a good fill on it. But you know, I think it works well for the purpose of, <laughs> of the video in terms of like you can tell what I was going for. It's just not quite as clean as I would like it to be. Another thing I was struggling with a little bit while I was working on this piece is that even though I had 
a ton of different colors of Sharpies. I didn't really have a range of values in those colors, so there wasn't a whole lot of like different kind of highlights and shadows that I could blend between, even in sort of a cell shading manner, because I didn't have the in-between tones for anything except for the yellow and I guess the orange a little bit, but I really only had two tones of the orange. So I had to figure out what kind of colors I wanted to use for the shading for different elements. And I kind of ended up going with these blue pens to go over parts of the reds. And then for the blues, I would use like a black over top of it. And that ended up working a little bit. It gave you the idea of the shadows and didn't overpower the color too much. And a lot of the times if you have a red object or red highlights, you want to use a blue because when you have warm highlights, you use cold for the shadows. And when you have cold highlights, you use warm colors for the shadows. Something that I figured out pretty quickly while I was doing my manic pacing back and forth is that the colors that I had and just the ability I had to use the Sharpies was going to play well with kind of a pop art inspired piece. So I found these references online of people using these bold red outlines that are just barely removed from the figure and I kind of like that style so I decided to throw that in here and then you'll see I'll go back in in a second here and add in some more like cloud-like smoke-like elements that are actually done with an orange pen instead of the red but because they were both put on top of the yellow they didn't differentiate as well as if they were put on top of white but you know i still think it looks nice it's a nice background element and so with that i also added in a lot of almost like cut paper style elements into this with the shading you'll notice i'm using a lot of like circular bits to reference the fur and just make it look a little bit more patchy with a really strong top highlight coming in so that it has that sort of propaganda scariness to it that really intense spotlight Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> um, my creepy killer propaganda bunny rabbit is finished. And, you know, with everything considered, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm not going to say that it's one of the best illustrations I've ever made or anything like that. Not even close. But, you know, it's uh, unique interesting eye-catching and it's got a funky style to it so it kind of checks all the boxes in that way and uh for being done complete with your sharpie with no sketch or anything like that i can't say that i'm upset about it at all honestly like <laughs> i thought it was going to turn out way worse than this when i started it off because i really didn't have any idea what i was 
trying to create and what I was getting myself into. And as you guys saw, I was pacing around for a long time just trying to figure out what I even wanted to do because um, <laughs> Sharpie is not exactly something that I work in often and it doesn't really give you a lot of options. Um, you know, you can't blend anything. It's really hard to layer and <laughs> it's just not even, it's not very good for making clean lines. Uh, it doesn't really run over the page smoothly or anything, but I think it turned out pretty well. <laughs> but you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, let me know if you liked this video and if you want to see more of this in the future. Um, and you know, if you do like what I do here and you like the channel and you want to support me, then give me that thumbs up for the video, uh, for the hard work that I put in making this crazy creature come to life. And uh, you know, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this from me and want to see more art from me. That helps out a ton. Um, and other than that, I guess it's just time to get into the final shot. So check these out and let me know what you think.